question for somebody else. So uh, the question is, you said that there are beautiful women for men in paradise. Are there beautiful men for women? MashaAllah, very brave question from the sister. But in her braveness, she wrote the question and handed it over and didn't ask it herself. And this is a sign of modesty as well. Alhamdulillah, that's good. Um, modesty should not prevent you from seeking knowledge. So I think this is the ideal methodology that you wanted to learn, but you didn't want to uh, identify yourself. So you wrote the question down. Excellent. This is a very honest question and it needs to be asked. Many of the people are confused. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about beautiful women for the men and he does not talk about handsome men for the women? Will not the women also be blessed with a mate and spouse in Jannah? And the reason for this is that generally speaking, it is not in the nature of women that these types of details be exposed and told. Look, even the sister did not want to be known and identified. And this is a sign of perfection that the woman wants to be modest. These types of issues do not form public conversation. And so the Quran does not emphasize this point. It doesn't publicize it. But the reality is, as the Prophet ﷺ said, There is nobody in paradise who shall remain single. So if a sister was married to a person in this world, they shall be in Jannah eternally together. And that will be sufficient for her. She will not feel any jealousy. She will not feel any envy that the man has been blessed with other poor in Jannah. But if a sister were single and she did not marry or she did not have a husband or her husband, we think Allah's refuge, was so bad he didn't make it to Jannah. She made it but he didn't make it. Then Allah Azza wa Jal has indeed a creation for them as well. But in the perfection of the Quran and to manifest the nature of men and the nature of women, Allah Azza wa Jal did not describe this creation as He described that given to the men. So, the answer to your question in a brief response is yes. There are indeed creations that Allah has created for the women. Some ulama have said that they will be married to a person of this world. And others have said, no, there is another creation in Jannah. Whatever the point, whatever the case might be, our goal is to get to Jannah. Once we're there, we will be given everything in it as well. So don't worry, once you get to Jannah, you will have all that you desire, inshaAllah ta'ala.